Yo, 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 it's overt flow. Let's get on a mo ab roll. Ba, 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 da, 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 ba, da. What's up, guys? What's up, flows? Don't you know? I love all of you. If you guys recognize the gameplay, I actually used the first minute of it for my very last video, my last Call of Duty video, at least. And, um, yeah, so that was just a preview. Now, here's the actual gameplay. Get a nice little quick Moab here with the ACR. Not that quick, but quick enough. I don't like to make my Mo I could get like one minute Moabs, but then I there's no possible way I could commentate over that and have a substantial amount of time to to provide a quality commentary for all you flows out there. So that's why I go for these a little bit longer Moabs. I think that it's more respectful and considerate for your guys' listening pleasure. Yeah. So anyway, today, guys, we're going to be talking about... Um, the, ch the transfer, the change, the evolution from a small YouTuber to a big YouTuber. Because I noticed some of you guys out there, you guys may think that I'm a pretty big YouTuber. And I noticed some of you guys out there, you think that I'm a small YouTuber. And, um, you know, I, I know that that's how you think because I, I was in the same position, you know. And I just wanted to cover a lot of the changes and what I think is different, what I think has changed. Um, you know, I'm going to cover one main topic and that is... The, the difference in trying to grow your channel from a small YouTuber to a big YouTuber and how um, being big kind of hinders you in a way from gaining more subs. It's, it's very weird that way. I think I'm in a stage right now where it's tough for me to grow, but once I hit like 10K, it's going to be extremely easy for me. Um, that's, how, that's really how I feel because once you get an audience, it's, it, it is easier to grow. But right now I'm in kind of a, a limbo type area. And I just want to touch on that. Not that long ago, you guys, I only had a few hundred subs, and, you know, I was, nobody really knew who I was. Snipinator, big shout out to Snipinator, I love that guy, he's the um, first guy to really, um, oh, it's first big commentator, first big commentator to really give me a chance and put me up, um, feature me on his channel as Sniper of the Week and all that, if you guys know I'm a big hardcore sniper, and, um, so yeah, that's cool, but... Anyway, I want to talk about the transition from being a small YouTuber to a bigger one because I, when I had, you know, 400 subs, 500 subs, I was looking at the bigger guys, you know, with 1,000 subs, 3,000 subs, and I thought that those guys were big. I was like, man, those guys got, you know, they got a lot of subscribers over there. You know, I hope that I can get that much, you know, soon enough. And sure enough, it happened, and now I'm at 6,511 subscribers, I believe, which is, you know, honestly, it's a, it's a good amount. I like to have that, but I only average about... 600 views a video which is about average for a gameplay commentator i believe the gaming commentators average nine to thirteen percent um of subscriber base to video views per video or whatever that is you guys understand what i was getting at and um so basically i hear a lot of little guys and the reason why i thought of this is because optic midnight is doing dual comms with random people and i really wanted to get one in with her because um first of all i enjoy her content and also um a lot of people help out smaller channels not realizing that a lot of smaller channels do quit and that's the reality of it and I've been here for a year 350 plus videos I'm not going anywhere you guys so it's good to invest in somebody who's gonna stick around really gonna help out the community and stuff and I try to help out the community a lot as you guys know I'm running my commentator buffet 3 soon so uh, link to that will be in the description below if you still want to join that and you know being a small youtuber I always thought that once I got bigger it'd be a lot more easy to grow and I have a little bit more power within the community like if I want somebody to see something all you flows all you subscribers are gonna help me out to get that video seen and that's something I really appreciate but at the same time when I was a smaller channel before it like egos were involved with people it was a lot easier to grow when I had 200 subs 300 subs um, even upwards of a thousand subs People always wanted to work together. If I approach somebody and ask them, hey, do you want to do a dual com? Do you want to, you know, do a box for box or a shout out for shout out? I enjoy your content. People were always ready to pounce on that offer. People were ready to jump at that offer. And now that I've grown to the size that I am, it seems like once I got partnered, I'm partnered with Yaush, by the way. Yaush! So I'm partnered with Yaush, by the way. And um, I'm sure most of you guys knew that. But once I got partnered, once I got, you know, a few thousand subs, once I got 3,000 subs, 4,000 subs, it seemed like more people didn't want to work together because at that point, a lot of people are, you know, spreading out, they're getting partnered, they're gaining subs, they're getting known for what they do, and it almost seems like they get an ego to where they don't want to work with somebody just due to the fact that maybe they're partnered with a different network or due to the fact that, you know, they, they think that they have what it takes to make it on their own and they don't really want to work with each other 
and it makes it really hard to grow at this point and um so that was just one of the differences that I wanted to discuss because if you're a small channel that's the easiest time to grow you guys go out there um, make a lot of YouTube friends show each other off on each other's channels do dual comms do shout out for shout outs if you enjoy people's content that's the best and easiest time to grow because once you get a little bit a little bit bigger you're gonna notice that people get a little bit of egos and I I'm not somebody like that I will work with anybody provided that they deserve it I'll work with anybody and um, I've made that clear multiple times I make it clear in displaying this whole event of the commentator buffet and all that and if any of you guys are a little bit bigger youtubers and you watch the videos I know there's some of you out there you'll totally agree with me I'm sure very easy to grow when you're small then you hit a middle point and it gets tough I'm sure it will be easy again and I wanted to touch on this last thing I might make a whole video about it but basically you guys this channel our channel we have 6,500 subs we need to hit 10,000 subs before Black Ops 2 if we want the channel to live on picked up the Moab there but if we want the channel to live on you guys um, we got to hit 10k. This is like the race to 10,000 before Black Ops 2 hits. I, I need to hit that. We need to hit that. So, And the only way to do that is when you guys leave likes, when you guys leave comments, when you guys share the video on Twitter, that's what helps. And, you know, I love you guys for doing that. And um, I just wanted to touch on that. We got to do that to make the channel really um, flourish. But anyway, that's it, you guys. I love you. And I am over and out.